Do you have urges, uncontrollable urges, the urge to upgrade, to get something better? Well, don't. Stop. Breathe. Think. Play music. Don't overly criticize the sound of your system. Just it, whatever it was when you did your last upgrade, you were happy, right? So meditate on that. Really do. I'm, 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 I'm being serious now. Don't just do it out of a neurotic. You read a review and you say, oh man, those, blah, blah, blah. I got to get those things. That's not the way to do it. It should be a thoughtful process. It should be, yes, it should be reading reviews. If you can actually hear this fantasy thing that you want, um, that would be the best. Better yet, of course, if you could hear it at home or, or borrow it or something, even better. But the urge to upgrade is it's an urge. It's not a, it's not a need, you know. You can th convince yourself that you need this thing. When you don't need it, it's just an object of your desire, right? So what I, you know, I think, first of all, if you have to do it, I mean, of course, at some point you would be a rational decision to get a better amplifier, better speaker, better DAC, better turntable, better cartridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, maybe I, I think um, the two, the two, the, the, the two solutions, you should have two things. You should have opposite things. You should have two speakers, if you can fit them in, two speakers that are opposite, you know, like Klipsch's and Magnapans or Zoo's and Magnapans or, you know, a very highly efficient speaker and an inefficient speaker that has better tone or more open imaging or something like that. In other words, opposites, you know, an electrostatic speaker and a dynamic speaker. You know, um, <clears throat> and for electronics, maybe a tube preamp and a solid state preamp, you know. So the idea here is that you're going between flavors, you know, you're going between dynamic <coughs> and rich, and, or rich and big and spacious, or rich and one, the other one has really tight, punchy bass. In other words, instead of thinking, oh, I have to get this better thing. I'm suggesting you get this opposite thing. That's the way of nullifying this desire of going for something else, something better, better, better than what you have. How about just different, you know, very different if possible, uh, but of course that you still like and you'll think you'll have some longer term satisfaction with, you know. I remember many years ago, long before I was a reviewer, I had uh, an Audio Research SP6B and I had a Mark Levinson preamp, ML1, ML2, I always get those mixed. But talk about difference, you know, the, the Levinson was super transparent and hyper detailed and actually very easy to listen to. That was, I think, the remarkable thing about that early Levinson. But the, but the Audio Research was too malicious. It was just juicy, fat, in a really good way. It made everything honey. It was a honeyed sound that I that I really liked. And I did that and I went back and forth between those two preamps. And when I got tired or I wanted something different, I just went to the other thing, you know? So um, it's an approach. And this approach I recommend and as a reviewer, I do it all the time because I have a, a, a going, churning through equipment. <laughs> You know, as I said, I wasn't always a reviewer, and I tended to have things that, that fill that need by going back and forth between things. That is it for today. My name is Steve Guttenberg. This is the Audiophiliac Daily Show, which has a habit of coming up daily. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you just came here for the first time, welcome. We just hit 50,000 subscribers, and I'm still jumping for joy over that. Uh, check out my Patreon page, which can be found at patreon.com slash audiophiliac. And uh, I hope to see you back here again very, very soon. Bye-bye.